welcome back to part two of the six Troy ounce gold refining. What I've got here is some ammonium thiocyanate. This is a very sensitive test for iron. And we're going to put some of that in the spot plate. I've already tested this solution with Stannis. There's nothing in there, but it's got a little bit of yellow color. If I put this on this ammonium thiocyanate and it turns pink, then that means we've got iron in the solution. So let's see what we get here. Oh yeah, look at that. See how that turns red? That means we've got iron in our solution on top of this gold. So we can rinse all that off of there. I'm going to rinse the gold off with some boiling tap water. But first I'm going to pour this off into a uh, gold refining waste container. This waste container is not heat resistant, so I'm going to pour off this initial amount of waste into this non-heat resistant waste container. I think I've got uh, all the junk rinsed off of the gold now. We've done multiple hot water rinses. This is tap water back here. And the gold is settling out real nice. And I think we've, uh, we're at the place where we can go to the next step. There's our gold down in our beaker. Look at that, man, it looks beautiful. I've got some hydrochloric acid. We're gonna boil the gold with some hydrochloric acid now. This will help remove any remaining uh, iron that may be in there. I'm gonna set that up on the heat and let it come to a boil. our gold there's about six ounces in here I'm gonna set it up here on our uh, heating pad and now what we'll do adding some hydrochloric acid I'm gonna fill this up to about the 800 milliliter level in hydrochloric acid got six three ounces of gold in here and I can dissolve an ounce of this gold powder with about 15 milliliters of nitric acid so what's six times 15 that's 90 that's on the light side so we're gonna measure out 90 milliliters of nitric acid We're 
to set this nitric acid down here. And what I'll do is I'll start adding droppers of nitric acid into the, uh, the gold up here. I'm going to re-dissolve this gold a second time. I'm going to add a little bit of heat. And now what we'll do is I'm going to set this on time lapse. We're going to add small doses of nitric acid and get all this gold to dissolve a second time. Got every bit of the gold to go in solution. So now what we'll do is we'll take this down off the heat and let this cool off. If you notice here, I've got some nitric acid left over measured out 90 milliliters of nitric acid and I've got about 20 left and there's probably a couple of milliliters in here also but that uh, what that means is I was able to dissolve six ounces of pure gold in about 900 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and about 70 milliliters of nitric acid. Now we're gonna try and experiment. I've got about a pound of SMB in this flask right here. I've never tried to precipitate this much gold using SO2 gas. So this is a total experiment. I don't know how this is going to work. What I'm doing is making a slurry out of this SMB in this flask. All right, I've got my addition funnel here. I've got some sulfuric acid in this little flask. So what we'll do is go ahead and fill up our funnel with sulfuric acid. Set this over here on top of our gas generator. Okay, you've heard me say it before that this solution or this reaction happens better when the solution is dilute. So I'm going to add about six liters of distilled water here. reach back in here and start a little bit of acid dripping into the uh, gas generator and get some gas flow established all right we got a bubbler back there way in the back and that tells us that we've got a good gas flow going now we're gonna add this gold solution to this water 
I didn't even filter it. I'm just gonna add this chloral auric acid solution right on into the uh, the beaker, the 10 liter beaker that's got our distilled water. I'm gonna add this right on in now. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. Okay, here we go. And I hope this works. I'm gonna insert the delivery tube. And we're gonna start bubbling SO2 gas through our gold solution. And see if we can precipitate out six troy ounces of pure gold. down here so we can get a good look at the time that this is going to take. Looks like something getting ready to happen here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Incredible. This is incredible. I think I've got all the gold precipitated. I'm gonna reach in here and uh, get some of the solution on a piece of filter paper. Let's test, make sure we've got everything to drop out of solution. 
there you can see the negative stannis test all the gold has been precipitated now let's uh, get in here and what I want to do is rinse any gold off of this delivery tube that may be in here just a little bit down on the end not much at all and now what we'll do is kill the acid flow into the gas generator I'm going to cover this up and uh, what we'll do is go ahead and let this settle out and uh, get in here and harvest the precipitated gold. <laughs> this, this, was a, this was a neat experiment. I like my new piece of gear here, my 10 liter beaker. I wasn't sure if this was gonna work and it worked out real well. So this will conclude part two of the six troy ounce gold refining. Thank you for watching.